Look at that. Just look at it. Would you look at it? Welcome to the Joel Anson Show. You know what we're doing. We're eating great food at great restaurants. And I'm really gonna try not to eat too much today. Okay guys, I'm gonna really try to go light. But today we're at Mercasa. Mercasa, which is Little Italy. It's an eatery here in Brantford, Ontario. So it's like really cool place. It's like kind of a grab and go. We do have some seating here, which I obviously took a seat. Uh, but I tried to order a lot of stuff and they're like, well, hold up. We're gonna send the owner out to talk to you. So actually, here he comes right now. Hey, Joe, how's it going? I'm doing well. I asked at the front counter for the full Roman Italian experience. So I know you guys specialize in just Italian food, but it's Roman Italian. I've never had Roman Italian. So. All right. What do I need to like experience? Well, you know what? You sit back and relax. I'll bring you a little sample for it. How's that? Define little. Okay, like yeah, I think yeah, I need Italian a style. Roman Italian style. Is that sample like? Size. Is that like? You know, we talk about yeah, right there. Right here? Yeah. How's yeah, that? Make it happen. All right, cool. All right, cool. Give well, me one minute, I'll be right back. Oh, a minute? It sounds really great. This place is pretty quick, so with that, we'll get some food here momentarily and uh, let's see what happens. Five minutes later. Here you go. There's more, right? And if you can make a little room, and... there the rest of it, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. For a second, I was a little worried that Roman Italian meant a little. Smile, but no, hey, this is great. Well, hey, I'm excited. Roman Italian. I'm now gonna get you, uh, Tom, the owner, to tell us what everything is. So I'm here with the owner, Mr. Tom, and also the executive chef. Walk me through what we have here, because everything looks delicious, it smells delicious, but I have no clue what it is. Besides, right. it's a pizza, but All take right, it so away. I'll, we'll, we'll go from this side, we'll work our way that way. Let's do it. So, uh, we make uh, panini. So, an Italian for a sandwich. So we have three different kinds for you to try here. Okay. Um, this one here, starting over here, is our CR7. That's the guy there. CR7, CR7 Cristiano Ronaldo 7. So, it's our take on the Portuguese, the finest sandwich. So that's a slow roasted pork loin, sauteed onions and peppers, and some cheese on there. We also have the Piri Piri chicken. It's got a little bit of, a little bit of kick to it. That's that one there. So, those sandwiches there are prepared on our house-made ciabatta bread. So traditional 72-hour rise on our breads, baked uh, in-house in the morning and in the afternoon twice a day. Nice. This one here, the third sandwich you're gonna try, the panino, that's our slow roasted porchetta. So that one we prepare uh, Roman style. So that one there is roasted for 14 to 16 hours overnight and we top it with a little bit of a mufaletta, which is onions, peppers, and all is chopped up. These guys are, are these are gnocchi poutines. So it's the gnocchi pasta, which is like potato dumpling. Gnocchi? Gnocchi, gnocchi. Gnocchi? Gnocchi, gnocchi. Okay, gnocchi. If you can't say it, you can't eat it. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. Nice. What, yeah. Right, what, it, what it, this looks, okay, I see like, I can tell, let's, I'm a big beef fan. This is beef. That is braised beef. Okay, right? well like, yeah. well, already we're yeah. friends. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. beef. Yeah, thank you. So that one there, bra uh, braised beef. It was like also buffo ragu. This one here, someone like truffle. Oh, I love truffle. Truffle parmigiano. Oh yeah, damn, yeah, yeah. truffle. All right, yeah, I love truffle. Truffles. Truffles. I'm a big fan of that truffle. Got some truffle oil here, I see. Yeah, love yeah, it. yeah, some truffle salt. Um, Desserts for later, these are the traditional Portuguese custard tarts. Oh yeah, beautiful. Uh, this one here, this is, we call this our veal sorrentino. So this guy is eggplant parmigiana, veal parmigiana, layered together, stacked, and then baked again in the oven with some mozzarella and our house made uh, tomato sauce. I like veal, that looks great. Thank you, thank you. This is a calzone, so oven baked version of a panzerotti. Okay. Same dough as we use for our pizzas. And this guy here, oh, wow. Yeah, this guy here is one of our more popular ones. That is filled with a full chicken parmigiana. What? Yeah, so that's a full chicken, chicken parm inside. Parm. Chicken parm calzone. I, I do like a chicken parm. Chicken parmy. Look at that. 
you know, calzone, that is, I def that is unique. All I right. give it to you, that's awesome. Let's see what you think of that one. And then this, this is our prize, big prize here. This is the Roman pizza. So we pride ourselves on um, making an authentic Roman pizza. Again, 72 hour dope, um, natural fermentation. And we did it three different ways for a year. This is uh, called the Buffon, which is our take on the margarita. Okay. Tomato, mozzarella, a little bit of pesto. This is called Viva La Figa. Okay. You can look up what that means. Um, this do, one do is. Do they a, want to look up what that means? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Figa is fig in Italian. Okay. Uh, that, uh, you'll get to that one too. That one is fig jam base, brie cheese. Oh, cool. And um, it's got prosciutto. And then on top of that arugula, we shave parmigiano. And again, for it, we do, I know you like it. Um, truffle. Yeah, That's a truffle oil in Italy. Okay, I'm down, I'm down. This one here at the end is uh, our patata. Uh, our patate. That's one of the most popular ones that we make. That's uh, Yukon gold potatoes on there, oh. spicy Italian pancetta, uh, rosemary, and then we finish it with this. This is one of our favorite things. This is Mike's Hot Honey. Give him a little plug here. A uh, good friend of ours from uh, Brooklyn makes this honey. You might want to try a little bit of this. You can put this. Should I try it now or later? Try, you can try a little bit now All right. and later. And then we do this. We just drizzle a little bit. Ooh. On there. Wait for it. Wait for it. It'll come. It kicks. She got a little kick. Ooh, but it's really good. Yeah. Honey. Hot honey. Pretty hot honey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mike's hot. Well, thank you, Mike. I, I am down for some honey. All right, cool. Well, everyone looks great here. Thanks for walking us through it. No problem. Man. With that. Let's get to it. I couldn't have asked for a better explanation than that. So with that, uh, I'm gonna dig in here. I'm probably gonna start with this parm veal sorrentino, I believe it's called. It's like the eggplant parm. That sounds delicious to me. I'm a big fan of veal. I'm a big fan of eggplant. And who doesn't like deep fried stuff? So look at that. It looks fantastic. Bit of a sauce on it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Damn, okay, that is tender. Mm. Mm, 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 that's all I can say. Mm. Okay, definitely the softest veal I've ever had. Super tender, just melts in your mouth, fall apart. The eggplant adds a really nice flavor. Very complimentary. Never thought about having veal and eggplant together. But damn, that feels phenomenal. I would definitely recommend it. Mm. Mm. Long live the veal. Holy jumpets, that is, that is fantastic. I like that a lot. All right, that already set the bar, very, the bar very, very high. Here we have a pear pear chicken, Portuguese style, on a panini. Mm. Definitely get the taste of like a little bit of that kind of chili, that little bit of pear pear heat. That bread is great, super soft. As they said, actually, let me show you how the bread was made. So this is our poolish, and this is a natural fermentation process using water, flour that's specially milled for us, and a little bit of yeast, and we let that uh, sit for about 12 hours and get natural levitation from it. That, after 12 hours, we will use to make our dough, and this is our authentic ciabatta dough. So this here will sit, and then this is usable. You can see the gluten development in there. This. We will sit and rest for two days, so it's a three-day process, so 72 hours for all of our breads and all of our pizzas. So from our dough, we make two types of bread. This is the traditional ciabatta that Terrence is putting in the oven. So that bakes right on the stones, which comes from the Vesuvius in Italy. And from that, you will get this delicious bread, and we also make a garlic and rosemary focaccia. So the dough is not only used for our bread, it's also used for the, make, to, the making of the authentic Roman pizza. So this is going to get baked as well, right on the stone. We take it off, and we're gonna bake it on the stone. We also do our calzones, 
which is a baked version of a Panzerati with the same dough. Definitely, you can tell it was baked daily. That is phenomenal. I can tell this pizza's gonna be very interesting too. I've never had a pizza like that. I mean, that kind of a bread. Especially in those gnocchis, which are a pasta. Kind of like a dump, like a, not a dump, but kind of like a ravioli. Which are deep fried, this one, parm and truffle. Truffle parm. There's a lot of texture. It almost looks like, it doesn't look like a pasta. It almost looks more like a, like a deep fried bread, but mm, you get a little bit of spice on it. Maybe it's that truffle salty mention. Mm. Something on here is just fantastically flavored though. Mm. 10 out of 10, I would recommend. Magnificent. Mm. I'm super impressed with this in the I didn't expect them to be so good. This one has beef on it. I identified that right from the beginning. Mm. I love beef. I like it. So a very different experience from the last dish. Last dish definitely you have the truffle, the truffle salt. This one's a lot savorier. The braised beef is very tender. Very tender. Yeah, the gnocchi in this one, just, it just seems very different with that beef. It brings a whole other dynamic. We call it like a, a gnocchi poutine, and I can see why. This dish reminds me of a poutine, which with the parm and the truffle, it reminded me just of like a a, a different, a whole different, unique dish. Going back to these panis here, porchetta, so that's the roast of pork. Mm. A lot of flavor in that. Very like traditional Italian tasting, kind of getting like rosemary. Whatever they do with the pork, it makes it taste very Italian. Almost like an Italian cured meat. I'm gonna try the pork just by itself. The bread is fantastic, but. Mm. I just wanted to make sure where the flavors were coming from. I'm definitely coming from that pork. Rosemary, very warm, Italian. I couldn't even name all the spices in that. Very good flavors. All right, here we go. C CR7, CR7 I believe it was. So this is a spicy pork tender one. Looks a little red, a little warm. Definitely a lot of chili flavor. Pickled banana peppers, we're getting that, some of that. A good bit of heat though, like a surprising, like, not, like it's very flavorful though, like, the, pe the peppers are a very, like, an integral part of this, I can tell. Definitely getting some mouth burn, but it's really a nice, warm, warm to hot mouth burn. It doesn't cover up the flavors, if anything. Flavors are a further part of it. It's good. I mean, like, the whole kind of gist of this restaurant is it's, like, really quick. It's grab and go. So that's pretty unique. Well, let's bust in this calzone because I want to try the chicken parm. 
I like chicken parm. The veal parm is great. So let's see what a chicken parm tastes like. And interesting that it's inside of a calzone. Well, I see, I can identify, I'm looking at the chicken parm. I am extracting, oh look at this, here we go. Excuse me, we have extracted. Whoa, excuse me. That's all the air from that. San Pellegrino. We have the parm. Mmm. Woo! Back to talking and mmms. Okay, the parms here are fantastic. I'll try the, the calzone bread by myself. It's very interesting. I've never had like a, I think it's like a focaccia um, kind of dough like in a calzone for sure. It's a cool addition. Soft, gives you a lot more texture than just like a pizza dough. Like a more North American traditional pizza dough. Oh yeah. No complaints there. All right, now we can try the Roman style pizzas. We'll definitely try, start with the uh, kind of their take on the margarita. So like, it's really interesting. It's almost like the pizza is on kind of like a bread. So Roman style pizza, here we go guys. Ooh. Mm. Mm. A lot of flavor in that. You're getting some of those very, traditional Italian flavors, a little bit of a oil, this is like an olive oil. That's very unique, very solid. We'll call it like simplicity at its best. All right, we got arugula, parm, fig jam, Try this pizza. Prosciutto, truffle. Ooh, mm, okay. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm. We can talk it. We're back to mmm. Okay. Mm. That truffle flavor in there. The sweetness of the jam. Oh. Mm. A little bit of salt coming from that prosciutto. Game changer right here. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. Mm. Yes. Just yes. I'm usually a fan of like a thinner crust dough pizza, like almost like New York style. But this is very unique and the flavor is exceptional. This one, I forget the name. Viva La Figure something. Yes, just yes. All right, let's try this one, Dave's Hot Honey. The Yukon potatoes sounds very interesting. But that honey was great. It's, ooh, getting like a, I was like, is it thyme? Can't fennel or thyme? Something like that, rosemary, rosemary, that's it. Rosemary flavoring. Or scent. Ooh, mm. oh wow. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. You know what this reminds me of? Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The warmth of that rosemary, that sweetness of that honey, really nice crunch and texture from this dough. I was very skeptical of that one, but I'm impressed. I might do some more of that Dave's hot honey. This stuff's really good. Man, that. I'm pretty sure it's rosemary. Woo! This is fantastic. All right. I wasn't expecting, like, yes, yes. And ask them for the extra hot honey, like extra hot, extra 
an additional hot honey on it. Woo! That is fire! Mm. Yes. I approve. But I think if I had to pick a favorite, we are on the day's hot honey. Phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, so I promised I wouldn't eat too much today. Mm. Oh boy, mm. oh, oh, so good. Mm. So I won't have too much more. Mm. I still gotta try those egg tarts. And then they have dessert. Oh uh, yeah, we had gelato and stuff, so, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna get another drink. <clears throat> excuse me. Woo, excuse me guys, sorry. It's carbonated water. I'm gonna try one of these Portuguese egg tarts. They said these are phenomenal. I love these little custard, custard tarts, egg tarts. I'm not really sure what you call them, but. Mm. Wait, hold on. I know what you call them. Delicious. Mm. 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 So soft and rich. That pastry. Ugh. That pastry is so nice and delicate and crispy. Crunchy. Listen. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, this is getting better by the minute. I could have just ate 50 of those. Mmm. 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 Get back to that sandwich. You know, I bet the sandwich is going to be really good with that hot honey on that. Let's try it. Try it, y'all. Just like I remembered. Very moist, very delicious. So I do have some pizza left. I didn't even need dessert. I'm like, those egg tarts, oh, so good, but like sweet and savory and rich and crispy and oh, I need some, I just, I have to go for the sweet. Mm. But that, oh, that pizza, this one, with the Dave's Hot Honey, I love it guys. That is one of the best and most unique tasting pizzas I've ever had in a long, long, long time. So let's get some dessert. Everything so far, fantastic. Love the, like the parms, 10 out of 10, 100%. You gotta try that veal parm. It was the best veal parm I think I've ever had. The chicken parm is really, really good as well. Love these two pizzas. This one with the provocative name, and then this one with the Yukon potatoes and the hot honey, exceptional. Um, yeah, the peri peri was good as well. Um, those egg tarts are phenomenal. Let's get some dessert. I don't even know what all they have, but let's get it. I know gelato, and uh, let's keep it going. So I got a hazelnut, this sounds delicious. I got pistachio, that's a very traditional gelato. I love pistachio flavor ice cream gelato. Milk and cookies, I like that. It's not even cookies and cream, it's milk and cookies. And we do have a Belgian chocolate gelato. This is a big one. I don't know if I should dive into it. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see how I do after these three guys. I'm gonna take this one to go and give it to a special friend because I, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to really watch my waistline. I've eaten way too much food recently. And it's been damn good. All right, I don't know where to start with this though. Uh, look, probably the hazelnut. Okay. Smells like hazelnut. Looks nice, creamy. A very delicate, 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 delicate hazelnut flavor. It's creamy. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay, that bite. Whoa. All right, this is getting better by the minute. Oh my god. Mmm, 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 oh my god, oh, mm. this is like Ferrero Rocher, mm. got pistachio, and we got cookies, and milk and cookies, I'm gonna try pistachio next, 
I'm trying to do them in order of what I'm assuming will be like the sweetest to the least sweet, so I don't like, kill any of the flavors. Like you, you know, your mouth always gets used to what you're tasting, so you want to start with the least sweet or the most most sweet. Oh. I a happy man. Well, how does that song go? If I never get to see the northern lights, something, 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 da 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 da. Baby, if all I got is your hand in my hand, your pistachio, I'll die a happy man, happy man, baby. Woo! Gelato. Mm. Milk and cookies. Not cookies and cream, guys. Milk and cookies. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. That's perfect. Nice sweet creaminess. Oh yeah. Definitely a buy. I like it a lot. Oh boy, I think that hazelnut's my favorite. Mm. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Mm. But this one's so good. They're all really, really good. Mm. It's a dilemma, guys. No, I'm going hazelnut. It's like a Ferrero Rocher in your mouth. Absolutely delicious. I love gelato. I like sweet things. And this gelato is a nice light way to end it off. Anyway, Mercasa. Great people. Great food. Hello everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is a very casual video. Trying some great food at a great place. So of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. River and Brand for Ontario, stop and buy. Right there, everybody, have a happy day. XO, love you all. If you like it, like, subscribe, comment. You know what to do, guys. And with that, hopefully, I will see you soon. That's it, everybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Have a lovely day.